curious as to what the cucumber mask would look like. I'm not gonna lie. Hello! Hello, everyone! Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, pie! of all ages this is jack sever and i have returned for another video and this time i will be covering my idea for this particular naruto boruto character but before i go any further i think i'm gonna have to put in some major spoiler warnings just in case if you are a shinobi striker player that has not watched boruto i suggest you click off this video and watch this video instead. If you're on Twitter, you may have noticed that Boruto has been trending recently. And this five minute video explains to you why that is. Furthermore, it provides a guide on how and what to watch so that you can get the best experience that this series has to offer. So before you watch this video, watch this video. Unless you don't intend to watch Boruto under any circumstances and fine, can continue. But I'm letting you know now. You have been warned. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, let's get to the main topic of this video. I'm pretty sure you guys guessed it by now, based on the outline of the character. I, of course, am talking about... You like it? I made it myself. I think this is the first time I've illustrated a full-on anime character on computer software. And personally, you know, I'm proud of it. I mean, why wouldn't you add him in the game? I mean, come on. He might not be planned for season four, but if there is a season five, hopefully they make it the Otsutsuki edition, or maybe the divine, or you could call it the season of divinity because there are six people that have obtained the power of the Otsutsuki, so I figured that'd be enough for season five. And five out of those six already exist within Storm 4, and those are pretty much the only characters they've been using so far. So I thought, you know, it'd be a good idea if you included an exclusive character in the roster. The Boruto series is gonna continue for a while, and I don't know if there's gonna be another game coming out, but if there isn't, you might as well include him in a DLC, because where else? And also, when you think about it, there are no characters that have made their actual debut in the Shinobi Striker game. So it's really all the more reasons why you should include him. I even have the move set down with an alternative option or two. And I even went out of my way to create these designs for this move set. So let's get started on that. So what type should Ishiki Otsutsuki be? Me personally, based off of everything I've seen from him, I think he should be a defense type. I think the defensive benefits have the most similarities with him. His defense is strong, his close range is strong, but the only conflict is he's pretty fast. He's very fast, in fact. And on that aspect, it makes sense if I made him an attack. But the majority of his traits align well with this type, so I figured, makes sense. We're gonna start off with the substitution jutsu, and I thought you might as well put in the movement speed, because I've never seen the Notsutsuki utilize any sort of substitution jutsu, so it makes sense if you put the movement speed in its place. And depending on how you create the character, it could balance out the possible OP powers that it may have. What's next? For the ninja tools, and I don't see the reason why this wasn't included for pain, but I put in the high speed rods. I'm pretty sure you can animate it the same as if you were to throw a kunai or a senbon. The only difference would be the size of the rods compared to the others. I was debating on making that a ninjutsu, because it's literally an instant hit and nearly unmissable. But there wouldn't be any option for the ninja tools, so I figured this would be the best fit. And speaking of ninjutsu, R1 or right bumper would have to be the Byakugan, because he does have it, and you might as well use it. And just imagine, high close range damage plus Byakugan? I'd say that'd be pretty powerful. L1 left bumper, of course, Skuna Hikona. Now, I have two options in mind. One, you can have him cancel or shrink out every single ninjutsu headed his way. Or two, you can shrink him and in turn increase his movement speed, which would make up for a slow pace if he's a defensive type. I even added a plus to have him go back to his normal size whenever you'd like. If you're going for the shrinking option, that's going to be highly effective in games like Flag Battle. Whereas if you're shrinking your adversary's jutsu, 
then that gives you a pretty good advantage for combat. My alternative option is his pillars. You could just have it drop down at the locked in target, or you can make it as if he's throwing it, which he never does, it just pops up on his whim. And if that's not good enough, you can just have high speed rides as ninjutsu, and then equip him with some sort of unique ninja tool. Maybe he'll pop up a drink so that he can heal. Now the ultimate jutsu, this one was a no brainer for me. It has to be Dai Kok Den. I have three options for this. One, you can drop giant pillars. Two, you can drop that big black cube. Or three, all of the above. Regardless, I don't really think it's that much of a problem animating it. You can either drop it like Madara's Meteor, or make it fall like Sasuke's Kirin. Regardless, I'd be satisfied. So those are my ideas. Let me know what you think. You have any other ideas? If so, let me know down in the comments. I'd like to know. If anything, your ideas could be better than mine. Together, we could quite possibly create the strongest character in Shinobi Striker history. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I have been Jack Sever. You have been the people. And we will see each other again soon. Alright. Bye.